Hi, in this video I will show you what's new in the garment tool. So the biggest improvement is that you can assign different cloth presets for each saving pattern. Let's create simple saving pattern using Shift A. We'll uh, add Shift. This is just to the Bezier Carve preset. And we will create simple Shift like that. And uh, add D to duplicate this one. Let's go to the garments, create garment, then edit savings, and we will connect a bunch of segments by just left clicking, left clicking multiple times, then enter to save. I will move them to the new collection, collection, and then let's jump to the first collection, generate mesh, and this is simulated uh, mesh that can be simulated. It is bit low poly. So bump up resolution, generate again, and if I play the time, you see the simulation is happening. Maybe I will go and show the timeline. So the issue is that the collision is uh, too big, so you can uh, jump to your character collision mesh. In my case, I made this low poly version, and go to the physics, and enable collision if you do not have this already enabled. The most important parameter is thickness outer, two centimeters, centimeters is too big so I will reduce that and let's simulate now now it works uh, more or less okay if the simulation if the distance is still big it can be that your collision distance is too big on the cloth so in here you may have to like reduce the collision distance too and let's let's jump to the pattern and I want to create kind of belt on the bottom so I will add plane Rotate this 90 degrees and uh, I will maybe reduce size on the bottom part, move this up and I want to create savings but uh, we have two segments in front, two in back but this part only has one segment so I will use W, subdivide and subdivide this three times so we have now four segments that we can connect so go to the edit savings connect them by just cl left clicking a bunch of times uh, you can scroll with middle mouse to invert the saving direction and finally connect this and this enter to save and now uh, i will have to move the collection with the generated simulation mesh to the character body then let's generate and see how this looks the improve the new version Okay, so it's kind of long, but let's see how it works. There is now option to edit band like that. You click on the button, then click on the pattern. And uh, now enter to finish edit edition of band. Let's play the animation. It's kind of works uh, okay. And uh, I will uh, pause this. In case if you have some uh, cramp crampling happening on the cloth, it may be that the saving uh, distances are not equal, so you can visualize them, the savings using this chain icon. And if you see some red savings, that means that the linked segments uh, have not equal length. So you can adjust that by just scaling the, the pattern, etc. Uh, so okay, now let's jump to the character and assign different uh, cloth presets. So we will jump to the cloth physics presets. In here you see list. Now the issue is that if you do not see them, you may need to reset the global presets. This will load your uh, presets with the default from garment tool. Okay, so I will left click and select cotton loose. This will load the preset into the scene, but not yet to the to the cloth mesh yet. I will also add the cuff material and the cuffs material the difference is that it has slightly more tension so it will be slightly more stiffer and it has a bit of shrinking happening to assign material just select the preset imported preset from your scene and then click assign and then left click on your cloth enter to finish and we will repeat this for the second material so it was applied to all the patterns because uh, they had uh, they were not re have using any material yet. But now when they are using material, if I select assign again, click on the bottom, you see it only applied to the clicked position. Enter to save. 
we can now simulate this again and it should look slightly different uh, in case if your cloth is uh, falling too, fo too fast on the floor it may be that the gravity is too strong there is the initialize simulation if you press that it will animate gravity so you can see a bunch of keyframes so this can help to reduce gravity at the beginning and uh, it can help the cloth to stay on the character at the same time it will also animate the saving strength and the shrinking factor so uh, the bottom part is maybe a bit loose so uh, we'll reduce size of all the patterns make this smaller make uh, this smaller and then let's generate mesh again and simulate one more time so it should uh, wrap around the character in nicer way because it is the previous version was a bit big uh, <clears throat> okay so maybe i will jump about uh, and show you what how those settings in here work so you can tweak any of the parameters the top part is about the unique properties this means that each saving pattern can receive different tension stiffness etc and uh, the bottom part is about the shared properties like mass uh, the mass cannot be uh, different for uh, each vertices because you cannot like mask this with vertex group so this means basically saving force mass uh, dumping properties will be shared between same with same value between all the cloth vertices well let's say we have now mass 02 and if i go to the cloth modifier we, you see we have a mass 03 uh, why is that well uh, if we jump to the patterns you see there is this default cloth preset that the patterns will use and it is set now to the cotton loose now because the cotton loose has the mass property set to 03 so that's why it will use this default preset to all of the vertices if i change default preset to the cuffs so then it will use the mass from the cuff material so 02 and you see this is 02 also here and uh, okay so now uh, at the very bottom there is also some settings for like quality of cloth collision distance and if you want you can enable self collisions also uh, so if you like the result we can jump to maybe bottom and create skirt so to not simulate the top part when we work on the bottom i will press save to shape key and uh, visually nothing changed but if i go to modifiers you see they are disabled and the shape key was added with this uh, with the simulation so now let's add the new pattern i will enable the second collection shift a add plane rotate this 90 degree and make this maybe slightly smaller i will disable the top part duplicate make it slightly smaller and uh, basically this will be skirt with kind of belt like so so let's uh, top rename this to top create new garment skirt and let's edit savings from for the new garment on the bottom so I'll just left click a bunch of times and enter to finish and let's generate mesh so i will already in advance bump up resolution generate mesh and you see this is the generated triangular mesh i will deal with the collections now so the triangular mesh collection collection i will move this to the character collection let's isolate this let's edit bend factor like so then i will jump to the materials so maybe this time i will show you a different way in the patterns i will select the to use cotton loose and you could change materials in here uh, but if you do not see which preset is which then you can just jump to the cloth physics select the cuff and assign by left clicking in the viewport 
So let's play the simulation. And it's kind of works kind of okay. If you have issues, like it is sliding too fast on the floor, you may need to like change the pattern, make it narrower, so it is sticking to the waist of the character better. So uh, let's say I like this bottom part now too. So I will uh, go back to the work a bit on the top. The top. So let's uh, save this to the shape key. So this way now it won't be simulated. And let's jump to the top. And what I want to do is I want to add some uh, sleeves. So Shift A, add sleeve. Rotate this around and place this next to the character arm, like that. And I will make this a short sleeve, so something like that. And make it uh, close to the arm so it will wrap around the character. Now I will edit uh, savings. So Click Edit Savings and connect the new part. And enter to save. Unfortunately, the left part will have to be done manually. So in the patterns, there is option to flip pattern. It will create the duplicated copy, but we have to create the savings for it manually. Okay, I think all is good. Maybe except like this saving is messed up, so we will edit savings. Hover over this one, tap to edit, scroll to fix the direction, enter to save. And I think that's it. Let's jump to the character. And maybe when we are at it, I will make, the, make this part narrower, then use symmetrize. And also I will create cut in the front part. Those are linked copies. So I will make the unique version on the front. Make this uh, sharp. Maybe symmetrize. And now let's jump to the first collection and click generate to generate new version. And we will wrap the with edit band. We will wrap this part around the arm. Let's simulate. Yes, and it's kind of works uh, kind of okay. So I think that covers everything I wanted to show. Uh, at any time, you can uh, save this to Shepki to disable the simulation. You can then press finalize, and uh, this will weld the settings together. So you see now they are welded together. You could uh, now add a subdivision modifier and uh, model like uh, the low poly version. So we can repeat this on the bottom, jump to the skirt, then select finalize, then control one or control two to add subdivisions, maybe shade smooth, and uh, you get the idea. Uh, so that covers everything I wanted to show. Uh, hope you like this update and uh, see you.